Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. On April 16th, ASML, NASDAQ, ASML, a Dutch chip lithography giant, released its first quarter financial report for 2025 today. The financial report shows that ASML's net sales in the first quarter of 2025 reached 7.742 billion euros, down about 16.42% from 9.263 billion euros in the fourth quarter of 2024. Gross profit margin reached 54%, net profit was 2.4 billion euros, down about 12.55% from the previous quarter. It is worth noting that the amount of new orders this quarter, including all system sales orders and inflation adjustments, fell by about 44.47% month-on-month to 3.936 billion euros. Overall, ASML's gross profit margin exceeded expectations this quarter, and the number of new orders was slightly lower than expected. It is reported that the new orders this quarter include 1.2 billion euros of extreme ultraviolet lithography EUV, orders. At the same time, ASML shipped the fifth high numerical aperture extreme ultraviolet lithography system, high NAEUV, and there are currently three customers Intel. Samsung and TSMC own the system. In this regard, ASML president and CEO Christophe Fouquet said, part of the demand this year and next year has stabilized. Based on communication with customers, we expect 2025 and 2026 to be growth years. However, the recently announced tariff policy has increased the uncertainty of the macro environment, and it is not possible to quantify the impact of the tariff policy at present. Speaking of the Chinese market, in the ASML earnings call attended by Titanium Media Silicon World on the evening of April 16, ASML Chief Financial Officer Roger Dasen said that China has heard about the progress of lithography machine replacement technology, but he believes that it will still take many years for China to build an advanced EUV, extreme ultraviolet, lithography equipment. Can I say that this is equated with China's electric vehicles? We have heard about the news of progress of China, lithography machine replacement, but there is nothing new there. I think it is mainly driven by a strong desire. I think you look at the fundamentals, even if the picture shows what it shows, I think I would consider it a research news. So it is possible that China is developing new EUV equipment, but in any case, we still think that it will take many years for China to make a new machine. I emphasize again that you should expect more information, because this is exactly what you want to hear them do when they show progress efforts. Dai Hojia said. Dai Hojia emphasized that under the current semiconductor export controls and tariffs, the demand in the Chinese market remains strong. He believes that in 2025, ASML sales in China will account for slightly more than 25% of total revenue. Earlier, Fukai said that due to the US ban on the export of EUV lithography equipment to China, China's chip technology will lag behind Western countries such as the United States by 10 to 15 years compared with industry giants such as Intel, TSMC and Samsung. This is mainly because the US ban on the export of EUV equipment has prevented China from obtaining cutting-edge lithography machines. ASML is the only manufacturer of cutting-edge chip lithography machines in the world, that is, the only manufacturer of advanced EUV lithography machines in the world. Chip design companies such as Apple and NVIDIA use ASML EUV lithography equipment and TSMC's manufacturing process to manufacture AI chip products. Benefiting from the booming development of AI technology, especially the billions of dollars invested by technology giants in the field of chips and data centers, ASML expects its revenue in 2030 to be between 44 billion and 60 billion euros. However, the current global new chip manufacturing plants have begun to slow down, and the United States is about to impose tariffs, and people's concerns about the slowdown in AI demand have intensified. Dai Hojia added in the video that due to the impact of tariffs, the industry is in dynamic change, 
and the potential impact can be roughly divided into four categories. The first category is to impose tariffs on complete systems shipped to the United States. The second category is to impose tariffs on parts and tools used when working on site in the United States. The third category is that ASML will impose tariffs on materials imported into the United States for the next step of manufacturing. In the United States, during the production and manufacturing process in the United States, the fourth category is that other countries impose tariffs on goods shipped from the United States, if applicable. These types of situations are the direct impact of tariffs, Daihogia said. We are actively working with the entire semiconductor ecosystem to minimize the overall impact on the entire ecosystem after better understanding how tariffs are implemented. Our goal is to keep the impact of tariffs on performance as low as possible. In addition, he also pointed out that tariffs will also have indirect effects, such as impacts on global economic growth and overall market demand. It is too early to discuss these impacts, so it is difficult to give an exact number. As for whether the company will move its lithography machine manufacturing plant to the United States like TSMC to cope with potential tariff impacts, ASML said it has no plans. We are already a significant player in the United States, and we build our business where we have production capacity. The final assembly of most of our products is carried out in the Netherlands, because the Netherlands has production capacity and a large supply chain. This is our plan, Daihogia added at the earnings conference that a large part of the tariffs imposed by the United States on ASML will be passed on to the next level of the industrial chain, referring to customers who buy its chip manufacturing machines. He said that the burden of tariffs should be distributed fairly, which means that those who import chips to the United States will bear the largest share. ASML expects net sales of 7.2 billion to 7.7 billion euros in the second quarter of 2025, with a gross profit margin of 50% 53%. Full year revenue in 2025 is between 30 billion and 35 billion euros, with a gross profit margin of 51% to 53%. Regarding this performance, City said in a research report that ASML's first quarter orders were disappointing and tariff uncertainty clearly cast a shadow on the outlook, but ASML reiterated its full-year forecast and expected further growth in 2026. Barclays analyst Simon Coles said that ASML will need 3 billion to 5 billion euros in orders per quarter in the next three to five quarters to meet market expectations. This looks manageable but we are concerned that the two major customers are unlikely to place large orders in the short term. Noi Chu, investment director of White Oak Capital Partners, said that the upcoming results of chip manufacturers are unlikely to be too bad, because AI demand remains strong. However, uncertainty about AI demand next year is rising. Policy fluctuations may affect the formulation of future long-term plans which deserves close attention. Affected by factors such as financial report news and tariffs, ASML's US stock has fallen by more than 5%, and its latest market value is about 256 billion US dollars, which is more than 14 billion US dollars, about 102 billion renminbi, less than the previous trading day. Since the beginning of the year, ASML's stock price has fallen by more than 7%.